Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you some cool new stuff you can do with Google's Device Assist app for Android. Now I understand that a lot of you guys are more advanced users, and I also understand that Google's Device Assist app is generally targeted towards beginners. But just recently, they added some cool new features to Device Assist that should come in handy regardless of your experience level. This update is a server side change and it's on a staged rollout, so you might not see some of these features until a week or so down the road. But before we get into all that, let me take you through the setup process in case you've never used Device Assist before. First up, it's a free app that you can find on the Google Play Store, but it won't let you install it unless you're running Lollipop or higher and vanilla Android or an AOSP based custom ROM. It can be sideloaded though, but you'll still have to be running 5.0 or higher. So if you want to link to the Play Store page, or if you're using a skin version of Android and you want to sideload the APK, just head to step 1 in my full tutorial. Then once you've got the app installed, go ahead and open it up to run through initial setup real quick. On this first screen, you'll get a chance to choose what experience level you already have with Android in general. There's beginner, intermediate, and advanced, and the main difference is that you'll get more tips and suggestions if you're a beginner, but beyond that, the app functions just the same. Now once you've made it to the main menu here, Device Assist will report any issues it finds with your phone or tablet with cards at the top of the screen. For instance, mine says that my custom ROM might cause problems, but basically if it finds anything out of the ordinary, it'll let you know with a detected issues card at the top of the list. Then the rest of the cards in this list are just helpful little suggestions based on your experience level. You can tap any of them to learn more about a certain function that your device can perform, so it's a great learning tool. But now let's get down to the features I was talking about. For starters, if you tap the three dot menu button at the top of the screen and choose device info, you'll get a detailed list of specs and information about your phone or tablet. Each of these categories can be expanded and there's some really thorough information in here like serial number, Android version, and all sorts of useful stuff. Then the next feature I wanted to show you can be accessed from the main menu. To start, just tap the search button, then type in test screen and tap the top result. From here, tap run pixel test, then press OK. And basically what this does is let you easily find any dead or stuck pixels on your display. You can tap the screen to change the background color, and it cycles through red, green and blue to let you check for any issues with your RGB subpixels. Finally, the last new feature is the coolest in my opinion. From the main menu, head back to the search field again and type in test internet. From here, tap run diagnostic test, and at this point, you'll see a really cool material design speed test interface. It works like any other speed test, so it'll show you download speeds and latency information, but the cool part is it's bundled with such a useful app. For the full breakdown though, be sure to check out my article over on gadgethacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.